What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Marble World and we're going to continue the run that Dapper and I have been working on so we're just gonna spawn some marbles right away. It does take a while for the marbles to get to the end and of course we start with the waterfall, we go down through the weird invisible track city stuff and uh, continue flowing through. But anyway, as we flow through this, of course, this is our multiplayer Marble World series. We've been working on it together. We each build a part of the course and then hand the file back and forth. Uh, this section of here was, of course, built by Dapper. And then finally, they'll come down this spiral and flow into the tornado and then flowing to this new section that Dapper has made, which is super, super cool under the bed here. We're going to check that out in a second. But look at this. They flow through. They flow down. You know, it's going to be a pain when this course actually gets completely full of obstacles waiting for the marbles to go down through the entire course. I'll probably have to put spawners like halfway through just to test things. But uh, here we go. We got the marbles into the marble tornado. I love this piece. We're losing a lot more than I would expect for some reason. That looks pretty good though. I don't know why, but there seems to be a lot that come off. And then look at this. This is so cool. It comes out through the bottom of the tornado, gets set back to normal gravity. And then Dapper made this sort of basin here that falls down in front of the bed. And then there's a monster under the bed. I love this. This is so good. He's got all these invisible boosters here just to like push the marbles. So you can see the monster under the bed is actually sucking up all the marbles. He's even got scratch marks under the hands. Like it's amazing the detail he puts into these things. But look at this. And then we come in through the monster's mouth. They get stuck in this weird wedge place. This one apparently getting stuck up top. And then they come out the tail in a single file line and just sort of completely choke up the entire area. So I was thinking about building something underneath this town, but unfortunately um, there is actually a giant, see there's a giant invisible loop here that I forgot about because Dapper does his invisible loop stuff. So uh, I can't build directly beneath the town. We could build something right here, but I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're actually going to go up and we're going to build something way over here in front of the clock. We're going to bring the, uh, the stream up in a pipe behind the waterfall up top here and then bring it over and, uh, you know, we're gonna have some, uh, some cool stuff happen here. What I want to do is smash two streams of marbles together. There's one stream here, and I think we can use the straight splitter piece, this little guy here, split it into two streams, and then have the two streams go in different directions and come flying together and just, you know, collide the marbles in the middle like a Hadron Collider. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We might, we might form a black hole. Who knows? Maybe maybe that's what's going to happen. I don't know how the game programming is, but that's the objective for today. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, really just just sort of pick this piece up with the pipe pieces and, uh, and then move it up. So this is kind of weird to me that the pipe piece snaps like, you know, halfway through. But anyway, we're going to move this up uh, like so and just, you know, over. And then we're going to rotate this actually. And we're just going to use anti-gravity um, as our friend. So we're going to rotate that up a little bit. And then if we put one of these physics uh, anti-gravity majumner guys here. Well, not anti-gravity. I guess it just reverses gravity. But we'll put one of these here. And then this should basically have everything that gets into this pipe uh, flip and start rolling up the pipe in the opposite direction. And then, of course, we'll reverse it at the other side. So that should work great. No issues there. We might have some hang up i'm hoping we don't they come flying out of this tail pretty fast because there's like literally a booster right here so i think we'll be fine i think they'll get launched in as long as the pipe doesn't you know get them stuck which i think there's more than enough space there all right so i've spawned a new batch of marbles to test it we basically got this looping pipe that comes up and then we had to do this uh weird little s thing here now it should work because as soon as we hit the entrance here gravity will reverse so they're gonna actually use this as a down slope snake through here and then right here at the top on top of this bookshelf, it'll uh, flip gravity again, and hopefully they'll all just come spewing out. So the idea is that basically when we test this, as long as no marbles get caught in the pipe, um, we should be good to go. The only unfortunate thing is, like I said, uh, we're going to wait longer and longer between each test run. Because we got to wait for the marbles to show up here, but here we go. First ones are showing up. And they should come out, there we go, into the pipe. That seems to be working good. All right, and then what? There they come out of the pipe. Perfect. They all seem to come out with high gravity. So now we just need to uh, basically keep them in a track and then have that track go and split into two tracks and then accelerate the two tracks at each other at a really high rate of speed. 
All right, gonna send another batch of test marbles. Laid out some straight pieces, uh, so they just kind of go, you know, hopefully this will catch them. We might have to build up some walls here. They might bounce out with the speed they come out, but we're just gonna kind of come down this smooth track, go here, split into two, and then we're gonna have two big loop things that come around, and we're gonna smash them together uh, inside a capsule midair here, and then we'll have it pour out and flow out that way. So we're gonna just accelerate them, but for now, I just wanna make sure this splitter sort of works and splits the paths relatively evenly. This isn't gonna work if all the marbles go one way. I'm hoping this splitter works. The other splitter, I know the wider one, depending on, you know, where the marbles come in, see like these corners here, they like to favor the outside edge, right? So I'm hoping that this splitter does it relatively evenly, and then we'll loop together and smash them together in this epic Hadron Collider type chamber. I mean, this is all, this snaky piece is kind of hilarious. This is really just to get the marbles away from this corner of the room because we're kind of out of space over there. I mean, we could really build above it and stuff. We, to be honest, we could we could go crazy, but we're going to smash marbles together and Hadron Collider is going to be amazing. Here we go. They come up the pipe. Coming up the pipe. Seems to be good. They're flowing out of the pipe. That looks great. Um, okay, this is a bit of a problem. Why are you guys all backed up? The heck happened? How, how did that How did that happen? What? What are you backed up on? There's nothing there. How? Wait, what? How did that even happen? I don't understand. Can I? What if I move this? Does this? Is this actually? For real? What are you blocked on? You were blocked on this. You shouldn't have been blocked on this. There's no way. It must. It must have been. I don't know. I'm gonna. You know what? That's fine. All right, so now we just got to build the collider. So we're just going to do this, make a straight piece, uh, go out three, and then curve down. Which, is this going to be into the bookcase? As long as it honestly doesn't interfere with the bookcase, we're fine. Perfect. That's good. Doesn't interfere. Uh, and then we curve this one back. Hold on. I can fix this. We can auto-rotate. That would be amazing. Oh, nope. No. There we go. Perfect. And then we just go straight across. Something like that. And then we gotta do the exact same thing on this side. So we go one, two, three, and then double curve down. And we're just gonna smash, this kinda looks like vacuum tubing to be honest, like PVC piping I guess, but I'm hoping this works. And then we can of course paint it to be a semi-transparent color. Uh, not gonna make it invisible, but it'll be nice to be able to see kind of what's going on. We do have to make, of course, a bunch of boosters. Uh, okay. There we go. Perfect. And line this up. Alright. Excellent. And then we're gonna smash them together, right here in the middle. Um, right. Everything's backed up. Alright, so we're just gonna select all the centrifuge, um, collider pieces, whatever you want to call them. Perfect. And we're gonna shift them all up without snap-on. And hopefully we can do... Oh, let's turn them off grid. There we go. Is that... You guys are kind of freaking out. I know, everything's jammed together. We got to put some boosters along this thing. Alright, I think that's a good height. And then we're going to do some boosters. I probably should have done that first and then duplicated this whole thing. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Here we go. So we'll put a booster here. We're going to do them with big boosters just so it's easy to spot. There we go. Look at how much faster that is already. Perfect. And that's just, of course, the initial booster to get them into the tunnel. Um, are you guys, are you guys getting stuck like all along that? All right, whatever. We're just gonna. Here we go. There. Perfect. Right. Excellent. And then we're gonna put boosters, of course, all along uh, the bottom pieces. But these ones we're gonna crank up to max. And we're just gonna do, you know, a bunch of them. I don't think we need them actually the whole distance of the tunnel. Maybe we'll do like three. How fast does that go? I feel like these are gonna launch straight into that other... Oh my god. Okay. Well, that goes... That goes basically launching marbles at the speed of sound. I wanna see... Come on, go down this way. Alright, you go through there. Where... What happened? What happened to that marble? There was a... Are they, are they like getting launched? Oh, they're all stuck. Oh, sick. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Okay, some of them do get off here. We might have to put up some walls. 
They do flow in though. Okay, they do they do actually hit each other. <laughs> this is actually kind of working. This is awesome. We just need it to be in like super slow motion so we can film those collisions and see if we can find the Higgs marble. Those two definitely hit. Oh, that was okay. Okay, this actually is gonna work. Are they? Are there any stuck in here? Nope. They go through. They launch down pretty good. None stuck in there. Any stuck in here? No, that's sick. And we accelerate them at each other, smash them into each other, and and find the Higgs marble. Which is just super awesome. Alright, sick. So now we just gotta build like a um, a chamber to capture all this before we paint everything up. But we gotta build like a chamber so that, you know, they collide and then they don't go all over the room. Um, and I think to do that, the easiest way we're gonna do that is just we've got these big discs. Is that the... Is, this is the biggest disc. So we've got this disc, which naturally flows down. Oh my god, that's massive. Okay. Uh, I guess we could use a smaller disc, but we could use this one. I'm thinking basically what we do, what if we back this up a little bit? Could smash them together at a further distance. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's actually try that. Let's back this up to here, to the edge of this disc. And let's back this one up to the edge of the disc over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to build this into a big chamber basically. Although this disc is kind of large. But it's fine. Yeah, there we go. And we'll build a chamber around this. And if we remove this guy back like so. And this one back like so. Let's spawn some marbles right now. Because it's going to take a while. And let's just... I, you know what? I'm going to start building up walls anyway. I feel like this might be a little too big. I'm kind of worried the plate might be a little large. But um, here we go. Let's rotate this. Kind of... This honestly is going to take forever anyway for these stupid marbles to get here. There we go, perfect. And then build this up. And these walls of the chamber will not be invisible, so I'm gonna try and do them a little bit decent, but of course they are gonna kind of, um, they'll be a little bit sketchy, because, you know, I can't perfectly line them up with, uh, with the whole thing. So we're just gonna kind of do this, rotate it a bit, you know, move it back. Something like that. This looks pretty good. I feel like we need- we definitely need a roof. Um, gonna just do this. Okay, that's uh, that's a convenient rotating place. Let's try that again. Let's copy this guy, move it up, and just flip it over. Perfect. That makes a good roof. Look at that. Sick. Unless they come, like, right up through the centerpiece, which, honestly, we can cover that up, too. Just, uh, just a piece like this. Shimmy that over. Uh, and then we just gotta bring it down. There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Done. Completely encapsulated. Uh, and then we just gotta do these sections. We'll cover those up, and then we'll put a, a downspout. Get out. So let's, uh, stop the marbles, and let's just clean this up and finish it up. Alright, so I've put the cap on the top, and, uh, I finished sealing in the sides here. Brought these tubes a little bit far back, so I'm hoping this is good. I'm hoping we'll get some good marble collisions inside this chamber uh, and then they should all fall to the bottom and flow out and then of course I've just added this drain pipe and Dapper can build off the end of that. I love the way this looks. If someone were to build a really sketchy Hadron Collider in their basement I feel like this is what it would look like. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. Um, transparent white looks all right. It's kind of unfortunate that you see the grid lines of it because then everyone gets to see how terribly I overlapped these pieces uh but you know what i think this is okay this actually looks pretty cool just like that it does look like some weird experiment tube chamber i guess i could have made it perfect i didn't realize there'd be uh <laughs> i didn't actually test the transparent paint didn't realize there'd be um lines on everything but that's okay here we go we'll put that on the top that looks good looks kind of like a vat and then the bottom will paint like a nice dark maybe a dark black color that looks pretty good, and of course the pipes flowing out will have those match that bottom piece. Perfect. And then for the pipes flowing in, um, what does transparent black look like? Ooh, that's right, there's a lot of overlap here. Let's actually do these ones uh, like a normal color, not to distract from it. So we'll just keep them like, you know, a, a white gray. There we go, that looks good. Is that white wood, wood paint? Did we just put wood texture? 
Yeah, that looks good though. I like that. I don't mind it. Perfect. So that'll feed them in. Um, I guess we should have the tubes on the top. Let's do one blue, one red. And just paint them all with black siding. Alright, so let's just put some real quick walls like this. Nothing too fancy. Um, I think if we just do this, like so, and then copy-paste. And bring that over to here. I think that should be good enough. And that should just be to help, uh, you know, the stuff coming out of the tube. And uh, entering, this looks awesome. This actually looks like some weird, crazy scientific lab experiment. Alright, let's do it. Spawn in 1800 marbles. Let's, you know what, let's do more. Let's actually spawn in 3600. Because when they get here, I want to run them in slow motion. We're not even going to be able to see them colliding if we, uh, if we have it any faster than, you know, the slowest speed, I'm pretty sure. They're going to be accelerated like crazy, so we might as well spawn in a bunch of them. This looks so cool. <laughs> I'm really happy with how this turned out. I was kind of skeptical about it at first, but the marbles actually hit each other. I was really worried that, you know, they would just phase through each other because they're going so fast. But it actually detects the physics and detects the collision, so I'm super happy with that. And uh, I think this looks great. It looks like such a crazy experiment off to the side. And I think it really fills this space um, kind of nicely. So let's see. Where are the marbles? Oh, good. They're starting to get into the tornado. We do lose a few, unfortunately. I think some of them are going to get launched and like glitch out of this vat. I don't think all of them are going to get contained. As long as we contain a bunch of them. Like we lose some of the tornado too even, but that's whatever. All right. The waterfall is actually empty now. It's kind of crazy to think we actually empty out the waterfall completely before marbles even get to this part of the course. Okay, the monster's starting to eat them up. Are they coming? They're coming out of the monster now. Perfect. They should be making their way up top here anytime now. Here comes the first one. That's useless. Okay, a couple. Perfect. Some weird stuff happening here. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with that. They all get like hit on that piece. It's fine though. They get stuck here still a little bit, but that's okay. As long as they don't back up so much that, you know, we back up the pipe. That's the big thing. Alright, split. Okay, this is actually kind of sick. I want to... Okay, slow down. Slowest speed. We got to see two marbles hit each other at full speed. Oh, that one smoked the red one out before the red one even got in. Holy cow, it didn't even come out of the pipe. See, this, this might be the marble killer. No, no. Oh, that one hit the purple one. Okay, sick. This actually works. They don't always launch at the exact same time. See, that's the, that's the, that one hit, yeah. Oh, there we go. Blue and orange collided. We're not getting any, um, any creation of new elements, unfortunately. Purple and pink. That was sick. This is really cool. I'm glad this actually works. Blue and white there smacked each other. This is actually amazing. And then eventually, these should all flow down, right? Like, they should all flow out. I would imagine. They are on the slowest speed, and this is a, a marble sloped chamber. It's like a very, very gradual slope, so you can see some of them barely moving. But they should all eventually move down, assuming this is, uh, like, placed flat, which I'm pretty sure I did. It's just gonna take them forever. This is awesome. This is so cool. Alright, the watermelon got- Oh, the watermelon got hit back up the tube! <laughs> Which, I mean, if that happens, it should just come flying back out, right? Like, there's enough... Is anything... Hold on, is anything getting stuck in the tubes? This tube looks clean. Yeah, I think I think it's good. I don't think anything's gonna get stuck in these tubes. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, let's get some more collisions in here. What's, uh, what's going on? Okay, this is still working. Still splitting. Which is good. Backup's not too much. That's good. There's nothing clogging this pipe, I would assume, right? This pipe is... It's hard to get in these pipes. It looks pretty clean. Pretty clean and all the way down. Yeah, I think this is perfect. I think this is great. We got a backup of marbles at the marble tornado. And then the monster under the bed seems to, you know, back them up a little bit too. Oh no, we do have a jam. We got a jam. Oh, uh, no. What is this? Ah, uh, shoot. See, I think the monster spits them out faster than... 
yeah, it, it spits them out way faster than the tube can swallow them. So this is like a big backup. So this is actually pretty easy. We're just going to reduce the boost strength and have boosters all the way in this and then cover it with invisible walls so marbles can't fall out. So if they do get backed up at the monster, um, you know, it won't be a big deal. We can just have them stay backed up at the monster because otherwise they're all just going to spill out and uh, the marble collider can only go so fast and that's not good. So let's just do this. This will actually help too, because now marbles will just get forced right into the, um, the anti-grav thing. So just like that, perfect. Can probably bring these down a little bit. Something like that. It unfortunately ruins the tail a little bit, but you know, that should help. And these are all just boost one. So they're very, very weak. And then we'll just build like a really simple, actually, to be honest, we can probably just take a straight piece of track like this, and then just flip it over 180 degrees, right, like this, and then just put it invisible on top. All right, so let's try this again now. Let's put 2,700 marbles. We've got this section now, so this is actually an invisible piece above it, so we shouldn't have any marbles falling out of this. They should get stuck in here. Uh, they'll probably get backed up inside the tail here at the end, but this is all this is all perfect. This is all boosts and that's downhill. So even if they get backed up in here, there's boosts here too. Like this should all be good. That'll help keep them going. Uh, I don't know why these small pipes. I guess we're going to like a really thin small pipe marble run. That's kind of the problem. We go from this massive waterfall that lets a ton all at once to like the tiniest pipe. So now the entire marble run is gonna be choked by <laughs> this one pipe piece. So that's kind of uh probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. As long as we don't lose a million here, that's the thing. Like, they can get backed up here because this is all surrounded with invisible walls. And so this will all fill up, not a big deal. And they'll eventually all get sucked into the monster's mouth. Um, we just need to make sure they don't come, you know, get stuck at the end. Anyway, let's uh, speed this up. Perfect. I love the way this chamber looks. It looks so ridiculous. It, it, it looks like the sketchiest thing you could set up with, like, vacuum tubing in your house. But that's basically what we're doing. And it's awesome. Even though, like, the marble collisions don't do anything, which is unfortunate, but it, it still, I think it looks great. It doesn't seem to affect them at all. It doesn't look like they're getting stopped in any way. Alright, let's spawn a few more marbles. 4,500, and uh, let's slow this down go look at the Hadron Collider. Uh, yep, perfect. We've got the marbles flowing down. They're gonna split. They're gonna... Some are gonna... Okay, mostly going the wrong way. That's okay. And... Collision time. All right. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Come on. Somebody's got a hit. Oh, there we go. That was good. That was good. The, the watermelon and the green one, like, smoked each other at perfect speed. I honestly wish we could break marbles. Like, making something like this really makes me wish we could smash them and actually break them. Uh, they're obviously invincible, which is unfortunate. But it's really cool how they hit each other, and then they just go bo bouncing off in different directions. I mean, you know, it's not really telling me anything about the creation of the universe, but, you know, it's a start. Alright, can we... can we... No, hit... there we go. Look at that. It's amazing how accurate they are. They hit each other almost perfect every time. That's so cool. You know, this is actually impressive. I thought there were going to be like two collisions max, and that's all we were going to get. I thought there was going to be like a handful of collisions, but it seems like every time one comes out of both pipes. Like, look at that. The first two, orange and green, they just smash right into each other. That's awesome. Oh, that yellow one went right in the pipe. Is it going to come out? Where did... Did it already come out? That was so weird. All right, and then of course they're flowing out the bottom here, right? They come in, they flow out the bottom. This is awesome. Well, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm going to, of course, uh, do a few more changes to this track if I have to. I'm going to do some more testing, make sure it's clean. I think it's good. We do have a, a backup problem here at the monster. But to be honest, I feel like that's Dapper's fault, not mine. Because we were going down to a single track anyway. Um, and now we're going to a single pipe, which I guess is smaller. So maybe it is maybe it is my fault. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think this is a great addition to the marble track. I think it really it looks cool. It looks like some... Mad Scientist Lab Experiment, and uh, of course it works. It is going to make the track a lot slower. We're only going to have a few marbles coming out, but I'm really excited to see what Dapper does next. And we have a lot of room still. We've actually kind of nicely only used that little bit of the room, so we still have all this to go, and we can do all sorts of cool new stuff. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
and we'll see y'all next time. Alright, let's see some collisions.